Just my perfect reflexes and photographic muscle memory. Well, there it is, guys. Our ticket out of here. That is sparkly. The sparkliest. Is that diamond? <laughs> Where is everyone? That lunatic is going to be inventory if she's not careful. So? We should lend her a hand, shouldn't we? But she sounds like she's in trouble. We need to worry about ourselves, Petra. I'm not letting another admin get its claws on anybody. We're not abandoning her. I told her I'd help her escape. Time to prove it. We can't just leave her. Come on! Oh, I can't believe we're doing this. You came back. I said I'd get you out, didn't I? Now, show us the way. I know you didn't have to do that. I appreciate it. Let's go. I'm not a very trusting person. Romeo betrayed me. I have trouble getting along with others. I'm not much of a people person anymore. If I ever really was, it's gone now. We've all suffered because of the admin. And some have suffered much worse. There's something else you should know. There was a third admin named Fred. Where is he? Dead. He and I fought Romeo for control of the world. We lost. Where's the rest of it? Yeah, how are we supposed to escape? This doesn't even go up that far. That's because we're not going up, we're going down. Down? There is no down. We're standing on bedrock. You can't go any lower. You might think so, but that's where we need to go. Below the bedrock. Everybody knows there's nothing under the bedrock except nothing! And also certain death. <sighs> we're not at the bottom of the world, it only appears that way. I'd rather take my chances in the maze than listen to any more of her lies. Any of you are welcome to join me. That's crazy talk. All those monsters- I don't care! She's an admin. An admin killed Voss, then stole his identity, and then- Remember I told you he took my admin powers away? Well, down there lies the secret to taking Romeo's powers from him forever. Fred, the third admin, discovered it. Jesse, help me dig through this tower. <laughs> See? I told you. These stairs lead to our salvation. 
Now there's a good reason to get a move on. I can't let anyone run around disguised as me, or my friends. The amount of chaos they could cause is... well, it's unthinkable. That's why I summoned you. Track them down. Make sure they're... behaving themselves. Oh, jeez. <coughs> run, 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 Jesse. As fast as you can. <laughs> Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. The Admin! A villain who can become anyone with the wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you refuse to hide who you really are? Even when it might be a better idea to stay <laughs> under the radar? Not everyone can face a trickster head-on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face, even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into... a hero? Or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. Don't worry, everyone. This is just like the time I jumped from the cliffs of the POW! Only, uh... Ah, uh, who am I kidding? This is nothing like that. Thanks again for not leaving him behind. Though, let's be honest. No way you'd pick some llama over Nermi here. She's not just some llama. Luna's back there all alone. Probably scared. I just hope Luna is okay. Yeah, me too. She'll be fine. Look, she's an animal. She's got survival instincts. Wow. You were right. There's a whole world down here. The first world. Created by us. Romeo, Fred, and me. I haven't seen it since I was imprisoned, before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. This place 
doesn't look very friendly. Or welcoming. Used to be. But now? Guess we're gonna find out together. I knew what Romeo planned to do. But still, seeing it like this... Romeo? The Admin. Oh! It's worse than I imagined. This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him and... It takes a strong person to survive all that. Seeing that happen to your friend. And what Romeo did to you. Surviving doesn't feel like enough now. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that...? That is the biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. if I could go one day, just one day, without seeing something new and completely terrifying! So that thing is another admin-created monstrosity. Time to move, guys. <gasps> so mesmerizing. Not in the eyes, Radar! Don't look at its eyes! Sorry, Jesse. I don't know what happened. It was just hypnotic. So big. And Chloe. Go, go. Going. Ah! Ah! Oh. Thanks. It's dismantling the tower. town isn't far from here. I'll lead the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that thing. What? Did you guys see? Jesse, we've got to go. Not asking for me, cause cause I'm tough. Whatever. Our defenses are impressive. State-of-the-art machinery, automated farming. The oasis is a completely self-sustaining city. It's home. What? What happened to it? I'm so sorry. I can only imagine if I saw Beacon Town like this. Save your pity. 
Wait. This is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. I just need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. Oh, Nermi, Nermi, it's okay. Come here, pal, it's okay. Are you guys okay? Nerm here was poking around and found a llama blanket, and, um... It made him think of Luna. <laughs> Nermi, no. Come on, pal. No. Hey, that's all right. It's not Luna's color anyway. I mean, I can't be the only one that's noticed. She's always wearing purple. <laughs> that was, uh, that was a good try, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! <laughs> Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said! Sara? <laughs> Look! At... This... My bed! Come on! She's freaking out about a bed? Really? Could she be any more melodramatic? <laughs> wow. Good luck with that. I just wanted to sleep. I thought if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. He made sure. You don't care. Zara, what are you doing over here by this, uh... It's a portal. What? A portal. Broken now, like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. You want to destroy Romeo, don't you? Make him pay for what he did to you? Your town? Then you have to get up. Not much use stuck down here. What about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. If it was your idea, then you should know how to fix it, right? Unless it really was Romeo's invention. It was not! I don't know. Not sure I buy it. I see what you're doing. I don't get it. How do you keep going? Look where you are, but you're still fighting. The admin hurt the people I care about. Nobody gets away with that. Nobody. So I'm finding Fred's weapon and taking him down. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he... hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. Zara said to follow the tracks to Fred's keep. That's where we'll find the weapon. Kind of useless, unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Great. 
Just what this place needed. Run on ahead. I never say no to a little gunpowder. Close one. Fred's keep, here we come. Uh, Jesse? <gasps> Who made eye contact with the Enderman? I'm sorry. Go! It's okay. We're still okay, so long as it doesn't... ...do that. Everybody jump! Okay! Go! Oh, need to stop saying that! <laughs> <laughs>